When Santa comes to Swellview, who's getting gifts and who'll end up on the naughty list? First up, Henry. Sure, he accidentally led a soul-eating bounty hunter back to his hometown. Oh, I should have never have come here. I'm sorry for putting you in danger, dude. Yeah, relax, this loser doesn't even have a weapon. <laughs> okay. But he also risked everything to save Swellview. And he stepped up from sidekick to superhero in dystopia. Of course Henry's going on the nice list. What about Piper? Well, there's that temper. Shut up! Get out of here! Shut up! Get out of here! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm good. I'm just gonna walk away. And she drives way over the speed limit. Get out of the way! Is she even old enough to get a license? Wasn't she like 12? Yeah, they sent her a license by mistake. I don't understand. Dude, this has all been established. Oh, well in that case, yeah, she's still going on the naughty list. So is Swellview's favorite superhero making the nice list? Well, first of all, what kind of superhero doesn't pay his sidekicks? You're superheroes, quit your belly aching. That's what you get paid for. You got paid? Down the tube. And maybe worst of all, Ray took the very last Christmas tree in Swellview. The only healthy tree in town! Christmas is back on, it. baby! Oh. Not exactly nice list material, Captain Man. You are a complicated man. Straight up toxic, my dude. Next up, Choppa. Between the excessive rage, the excessive zapping, and the chainsaw, Choppa's not making the nice list either. Super and from now on, I would thank you if you stay out of my business. Okay, there's got to be someone else on the nice list. What about Charlotte? Hey, Char. Bet you're pretty close to tracking Frankini down, huh? My little genius. Aw, well, I did a scan of the whole town the night that everything went down. Soon I'll know the source, and after that, of course, can show you on the map with a star. Man, you are amazing. Really trailblazing. I really like your brain, dude. Truly is insane, dude. And not being sarcastic, your hair looks fantastic. Aww. That's why you have a char. Doodly do. With all the time she saved the day? Yeah, she's definitely going on the nice list. Let's talk about Miles. He'll do it. Anything for an old lady with melty bones. Just out of the kindness of his heart. What? It's for a good cause. You're paying for that yourself? Mama Schwaz has melty bones. It's the least I can do. You've been saving that money for yoga pants. The good ones. She needs them more than me. Guess I'll just have to continue doing yoga without pants. No. Giving up those good yoga pants for Mama Schwaz? Miles belongs on the nice list. So what about Jasper? Did he ruin everything over and over and over? <laughs> yes. But he's way too clueless to do anything bad on purpose. That's right, Jasper's going on the nice list. Next up, Bose. Like Jasper, he's pretty clueless. But unlike Jasper, Bose helped Drex take over the man cave. <laughs> I'm good to go. <laughs> Hey, don't forget your hostage. Oh, I love this guy, so helpful. And he even pranked Mary Gaperman and Ray. The experts have discovered that gluing a pickle under your nose will cancel out the gas. Really? <laughs> gluing a pickle under your nose? They will literally say anything as long as you tell them you're an expert. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm just worried about the people who are too stupid to know better. <laughs> Hey, you guys been watching KLB1? We're safe from the gas cloud. All we gotta do is put a pickle under our noses. Looks like Bose belongs on the naughty list. Okay, but Mika's definitely on the nice list. Yes! Actually, scratch that. Remember the time she blasted spicy pudding in Miles' face? <laughs> or when she pranked Bose with a can of peanuts? For a second there, I thought you were gonna prank me. <laughs> That 
will definitely earn her a spot on the naughty list. Except plot twist, she was a double agent the whole time. You gotta be a double agent. Make everyone in Rivalton think you're on their side. But keep an eye out for a chance to win this thing for Swellview. <laughs> Just waltz in there a shout out and be like, hey everyone, I prank for you now. They'll never believe me. They will if you bring them this. <laughs> Don't tell anyone anything about this plan till the whole thing is over. Girl code. Girl code. <laughs> it's normal, you're a huge snitch. Ah, oh, God, the second I think we're bonding for real. Okay, put her back on the nice list for now. And finally, Schwartz. Sure, he seems so innocent. Because I can't live a day without him. He is my rock. He is my shoulder to cry on. But if I tell him that, I'm afraid he might gain the self-confidence to leave me for somebody who might treat him the way he deserves to be treated. Except he did the one thing that'll land you on the naughty list for good. He messed with Ray's hair. And you pranked me by swapping out my hair butter for that super glue. That wasn't me. Okay, what are you? I don't it think wasn't. Really hurt. Wait, did I do it? No, boss, you did not. But I know who did. Oh, I love these. So, who did it? <laughs> what? Why'd you do it? Because you kept demonstrating pranks on me. That hurt. Get over here! Oh, I'm gonna prank! I'm gonna prank! I'm gonna prank for your squad! Do you agree with our naughty or nice list? Subscribe now so you don't miss a post from the Dangerverse.